Jeremiah Trotter was raised to disregard the easy road, instead choosing the path of greatest resistance to reach NFL stardom and Eagles fame. With both passion and power, Trotter exploded through blocking schemes, ball carriers, and quarterbacks. If it meant playing on a knee not meant for a football career, Trotter winced his way through the pain and showed just how tough he could be. If it meant leaving the Eagles and returning on two separate occasions to reconnect with the fan base and reestablish his dominating presence, he did it. Let's go, baby. All day long, baby. We're bringing the wood all day long. A third round draft pick from Stephen F. Austin in 1998, Trotter lost his father on the eve of his first training camp and spent a season learning the ways of the NFL before making his impact in defensive coordinator Jim Johnson's attacking scheme. Don't let nobody come to your house and try to take over. There isn't anything that moves. I don't care who it is. Let's go. We're going to bring it on three. One, two, three, three. Trotter was a furious presence at middle linebacker, the battering ram of the Eagles defense. He's defined downhill football and celebrated his many big plays with his trademark axe man swing. A reminder to his early days chopping wood in Hooks, Texas. Back goes Aikman. He's setting up. He fires, and it is intercepted. Jeremiah Trotter at the 15, at the 10, 5. Touchdown, Jeremiah Trotter. And the Eagles are up 20 to nothing. Trotter made four Pro Bowls with the Eagles, joining Chuck Bednarik, Maxie Vaughn, and Bill Berge among franchise linebackers with his many honors. He was a physical force in an era of Eagles football that included an emotional victory over the Atlanta Falcons in the 2004 NFC Championship game that vaulted the team into Super Bowl 39 against New England. First and 10 again, one wide receiver, Baxter and I under formation. And this time again, he goes to Dunn and he's thrown back by Jeremiah Trotter for a five yard loss. Trotter meets him in the backfield and wrestled him like a baby calf. Nothing came easily for Jeremiah Trotter in his NFL career, but then he wouldn't have had it any other way. The hard road was the Axe Man's preferred path, and it's where he cemented his reputation with passionate, gritty play on his way to the Philadelphia Eagles Hall of Fame. For 40 seasons, Merrill Reese has been more than the voice of the Eagles. He's been the steadying, calming presence in our living rooms, the emotion of a big play streaming through our car stereo. Jaworski on second down, Rick Trace, he's looking, he fires the football, complete the quick, he's going to go, 25-40, 35-40, midfield, 45-40, 35-40, right quick, touchdown, the Eagles win. Through the best of times and most difficult moments, the booming baritone of Merrill Reese has been the sound of triumph, of comfort, of hope, and of the feeling that on the very next play, everything can change in the Eagles' favor. The ball is blocked. The kick is blocked. The kick is blocked. The Eagles have the football. Running with the football is Matt Ware at the 30, the 20, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Matt Ware! He's good. Matt Ware! And the Eagles take the lead. This is amazing. This is amazing! While players and coaches have come and gone, Merrill Reese has remained a constant since taking over play-by-play -play duties in 1976. We've welcomed him into our lives each and every Eagles game day and shared so many incredible memories with him as the center of our Eagles family. 14 seconds to go, 31-31. Matt dodged the punt, gets a high snap, gets it away. It's a duckler. Jackson takes it at the 35. Picks it up, looks for running room. He's at the 40, he's at the 35. Midfield, he's at the 40, he's gonna go! Deshaun Jackson, I don't care if he jumps, dives, he's running around, and he's in the end zone, and there's no time, and the Eagles win! The Eagles win! This is Merrick in the middle Ridge, number two! Merrill has lived his professional life by putting the fans first. Born in Philadelphia, he shares the same love and passion for the Eagles, and though he's risen from the streets to the heights of broadcasting, he's never lost sight of how he got there or the audience he's speaking to. Three, two, one. Let's go to Jacksonville. And the best fans in the NFL, the fans who have suffered in anguish for so many years, have finally been rewarded by their great football team. The Eagles, for the first time in 24 years, are headed to the Super Bowl. 
It has been 40 years of passion, dedication, and class for Merrill Reese. We celebrate him now upon his introduction into the Philadelphia Eagles Hall of Fame and cheer him on for many more as the voice of Eagles football.